three-fifths of a man, I am much bigger than that as the light reflects on the eyes that I use to look in the mirror, but to the system, I'm no more than a <laughs> little menace. In a crowd full of voices, I'm no more than a little whisper. I'm no more than a crop from the field that holds the blood of Emmett Till as they drag Emmett Till. He was battered and bruised, tied to a noose on the back of a truck. I stand, but I get weak in the knees because he ain't the only black boy to be slain by a white man. I sing a song of agony as the screams I've heard and the things I've seen paint a picture in my head of Rodney King, of Trayvon Martin, of Sandra Bland, and it just seemed like our lives lie in a white man's hands, but I will not sleep. Because these murders so close to me that I feel like Eric Garner, man, I can't breathe. My heart swells when I think about Rashad Bell. My heart locks when I remember my 20-year-old little cousin, Deshae Knox, man. We ain't choose the lives we was given. We just lived them every day looking for a way out. I'm gasping for air, breaking down in front of the casket of Jerisha Gatlin. Lord, I'm asking, take this vengeance away from my soul. No justice, no peace. We keep killing because we keep killing. And we can't stop because we born in it. They keep killing us because we just different. They don't know why they hate us. We God's children. I remember the lives of Kayla Smith. Rest his soul, he just got killed the other day. And Martina Smith Payne. They were born around the same time, but they died four years apart. That means today, they would have been the same age. See, these are my family members that died of gun violence, but nobody knows their names. But just because you never heard of them, don't mean you don't know my pain. Another black boy slain, slave to the same streets, slave to the same code where the new members of the gang die over the old beef. My soul weeps. Lord, I'm so strong, but I feel so weak and my soul weeps. But they wonder why we keep heaters tucked in these cold streets. I get sick and tired of taking stands for my people, against people who are supposed to stand for the people, but instead stand for impression. Example, a community of folks who act superior but felt inferior when minds was the only ones to thrive in the depression is depressing to think that we have to work harder to remain average. We trapped in a class considered classless. You do realize we still live in the projects, yes? But we don't realize that it's a project to make projections on our progress. It's a process. It's a white man's world full of a black man's pain. They steal our ideas but can give a damn what a black man think. What you think? Well, I think I didn't had enough. I mean, we pro-black until that greed gets one of us, and now we have to say a speech about one of us and the tears falling as you stumble up on your words when you hear Malcolm's words, that they will pay one of us to kill one of us just to say it was one of us. And the jury found that black man guilty. And although he pulled the trigger, who really killed him? That's the hate you gave God's children. Trey Eddie, the future, boy. Yeah.